Oh, hobble along, my good man. Find that mine entrance. F oh, God. Find that mine entrance. No! Hello, everybody. Gray still plays, and we're back with more of the long dark. No time for BS. I have a plan, and I'm going to enact it. So, we're at the farmhouse basement area. I'm going to get out here into the real world. And real quick, what I want to do, assuming I don't get immediately attacked by a giant ravenous bear, is... No one over there, no one over there. Okay, look and clear. Let's get out of here. What I want to do is head toward the radio tower. That's going to be our next goal as we head closer and closer toward Mystery Lake. Now, Mystery Lake... If my memory serves me correctly, and I sure as hell hope it does, it was located easterly from the farmhouse, which is where we are now. Now, we could go and probably loot the big barn if we wanted to, but I don't know. I don't really see that much of a reason to go do that. We're doing okay right now. We've got excellent food, drink, and clothing. And we're not super weighed down, which is kind of nice. So for right now, it's just a nice calm stroll while I constantly watch my various surroundings. Just to ensure that we're not going to get waylaid. Oh, there it is! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, it's not gonna follow us the whole damn way, is it? What's the temperature outside? Negative eight degrees. System candy wouldn't care about negative eight and neither will we. Go! Oh, God! Oh, it is really running after us. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, you got... Oh, God. Oh, my God. It is re totally relentless. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want to have to shoot you, bear. You back the hell away. Okay. It looks like it disappeared. I don't really know where it went, and I don't care, but it's not on us anymore. Nope. I was wrong. It's still there. Okay, we need to get up this hill. At the top of this massive, mountainous, range-like hill. Oh, jeez, Louise, that thing probably never gets tired either. Is the... Is the radio control tower. That's assuming I can... Nope, can't get up that steep. Alright, kind of like... Maybe we'll lose him through this little maze of ice and snow. Oh, man, I can hear him. He's right there. Like I said, you don't want to run too fast through these crags and stuff because you will straight up break your leg. Oh, look, another pear cave. Just what I wanted to see. Ugh. Oh, some rose hips. Too bad I can't deal with those. So rose hips are some... Oh. Oh, a mountaineering rope. Okay, this is good. This is good, assuming we can get some energy up. All right. Go screw yourself, bear. Yeah, that's what you get! That's what you get. Feel it! It hurts, doesn't it? Okay, we need energy fast so we can get up this mountaineering rope. Mountaineering ropes are something that you can utilize to climb these, like, really, really stiff cliff faces. But the problem is you need stamina in order to do it. And I'm not totally sure how much stamina this is going to take. But we may... <laughs> we may be looking in just a second. We have about half a bar left. I think this small little, this small little crime, uh, climb is something we can probably do without a problem. All right, guys, let's give it a shot. Come on, use use the rope. Why are we not using the rope? Okay. All right. Apparently, we can't use the rope. I guess you can climb down the rope, but you can't climb up the rope. That's awesome. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna head straight toward where the bear is because there's no other way I can go. We are reloaded with a fresh flare. Hopefully it's not right up the top of this crest. Of course it is! Suck on that! Only three flares left. Crap. Oh god. This is not the way I, wa I thought this day was going to go. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Yep, just kind of sun yourself. Just sun yourself right there. Oh, there's the radio control tower. Okay, we can make it. I know we can. We'll kind of just keep randomly sprinting here as best we as best we can make it. Cuz three flares are not going to last us much longer. Now what 
Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh, there's wolves around here, too. Can you hear it, guys? That's the atmospheric nature of this game that I was talking about, and I love it so much. In the distance, you can hear that just echoing, howling, like there's just wild things out here that want you so bad because, you know, this... What's, what's happened to this world, this snowy tundra, it's all that's left. And the few creatures that have survived have done so by scavenging, just like we're scavenging. And I'll tell you, if I had a gun, like a real gun, not a flare gun, and I could take out a wolf, I'd probably be eating him too. Along with our moldy beef jerky. I think we're going to make it though. I'm not seeing any problems right around this corner here. Oh, nope, I hear the bear. He is incoming. We are definitely cold, though. Uh, now, there should be a break in the fence. There it is. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, almost there, guys. Almost there. Just kind of sneak on through here. And I know we have a door. There it is. Okay, good. The bear's heading on off. Thank you, Jesus. So, anyway, this is the radio control tower. There's not a whole lot here, but... Considering we're dealing with a ravenous bear outside, it's better than nothing. Now, a tin of coffee is a lot better than you would think. Coffee in this game, not only does it warm you up, but it also allows you to stay awake a little bit longer. So that rest bar that we have kind of regenerates um, ever so slightly when we use it. Also has a workbench in here if we ever wanted to use that. Now, I saw a fire striker. There it is. Sometimes there's things inside of the microwave. All right, not today. Let's go ahead and crank up these wood matches. And, ooh, I see some cargo pants. That's nice. I think those are better than our jeans. I'm almost 99% sure they're better than our jeans. Little plastic container here with some more new dog food. We have all kinds of dog food, I do believe. I think we've got, like, three cans now. Rifle through these lockers. Yes, oh, a worn winter coat. That is a nice find. Oh, and we found some lantern fuel and some accelerant. Not that we have a lantern to use it in. Let's check out this coat real quick, though, guys. The winter coat, I'm pretty sure, is one of the absolute best styles of coats that you can get. There we go. It's much, much, much better than this down vest. In fact, we're going to go ahead and rip this thing apart. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. Well, don't worry. We've, we've, got, we've got you covered on the drink there, partner. And I think that these cargo pants are going to be even better, too. Oh, yeah. These should be just fine, especially when we repair these. Let's go ahead and rip up these jeans because we're not going to need them. And it'll just be taking up extra weight. And like I said, this is a very, very heavy management style of game, I guess, when it comes to all of the different, like, hungers and thirsts and such like that that you kind of have to look after at all times. Otherwise, they'll sneak up on you, and uh, you will die. Oh, we don't want to harvest it. We want to repair it. Two cloth for this, but we'll repair it by 35%. I'll take that chance every day. Looking dehydrated now, but I will go ahead and grab us a sip of water. And let's go ahead and repair this. Let's go ahead and repair this the rest of the way. I think it's just a good idea. It uses up two cloth, no matter if it's like partly repaired or all the way repaired. So you don't want to go wasting your cloth that way. But look at that right there. That helped out a lot. Three degrees just to have that on us. And we're going to go ahead and take it to these pants here as well. Getting these all the way up will be fantastic. Three hours of daylight left. We're going to have to sit here for the night. Yep, one more time. One more go with the repair on these. And then it's further to the east, probably after we wake up nice and early in the morning. And we will have to find a mine, essentially. It is like an abandoned mine, a coal mine. And through that is where we will get our ways toward Mystery Lake. And it's actually quite a big slog. Let's eat this can of sardines. I'm just going to eat this because it's in the worst repair right now. And on top of that, um, let's see, what else do we have here that's our heaviest item? Ah, these peaches. We'll go ahead and grab these real quick. You notice you need tools to open up some of these items. That's why, at the very least, you want to find a knife. There's also can openers in the game if you can find them. Normally, I find them pretty darn quick. But recently here, I've certainly had my hands full trying to get the things that I normally like in the game right out of the way. 
All right, just want to make sure that there's nothing else around this particular room that we went ahead and missed. Nope, the drawer is all taken up. Let's take a look over here real quick. Ah, another metal container with some stale chocolate bars. <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh, Mariner's Peacoat. Holy crap. There's like, there's like a lot of really good stuff in here. More than I more than I thought there would be, but I guess you gotta get lucky sometimes because we certainly weren't getting lucky in the farmhouse. Well, not as lucky as I would have liked. Oh, first aid kit, missed that. And I think I see just some busted up wood on the ground. There we are, okay. Check through these lockers as well. If I can find some more, okay, soda's good. I, I was gonna say, if I can find some more lightweight food, like candy bars and energy bars, that would be great. I think energy bars are one of the best items you can get for your uh, weight worth, I guess I'll say. Oh, some extra work boots. Be able to carry this load for much longer. Yeah, you'll be fine, big man. Don't you worry. And a couple of cardboard boxes there. And, ooh, we've got some more beef jerky just laying around waiting for the pickings. Anything inside of this? No. Nope. Got a whole bunch of filing cabinets, though. Oh, yeah, guys, more beef jerky. This was a great haul. This is easily going to put us into the next day with no big deal. Kind of move through here. Okay, another sewing kit? I could use that. I wouldn't mind another sewing kit. We're actually getting pretty heavy on stuff. And I'm getting close to running out of matches, too. Eh, I don't really like that. Come on, let's find some more matches inside of one of these drawers, right? How lucky can we get? This is it, though, man. This is what I. This is what gets me excited, all this kind of scavenging around. Oh, cloth and another rifle cleaning kit for the rifle that we don't have. <laughs> oh, I never thought I would love matches so much. Oh, and a candy bar. Who's going to leave a perfectly good candy bar laying there? Well, we'll be... <laughs> I'll, I'll pick that up with no problems. Anything else over here that we've missed? I think that's pretty much it. Probably going to catch some shut-eye, and then we'll have to head on out in the morning. Yeah, that looks to be it. All right, let's catch some Z's real quick. Uh, two hours of daylight left. We'll see how long it'll let us rest before it wakes us up forcibly. One thing that's changed about the game compared to the way it used to be, you used to be able to rest as much as you wanted. So if you wanted to sleep like 10 hours, it would straight up let you. Let's see if we go over here. Eh, we're a little bit thirsty, but that's not too bad. We've survived for two days. Let's go ahead and just kind of pass the time. Now, passing the time is something that you can do to kind of, like, move time along. But as you can see, it burns out your health, uh, not your health. I should say your hunger and your hydration bar very quickly. So we're going to go ahead and drink some of these cans of soda because that's going to get us hydration and calories. I kind of like them for that reason. They're a little bit heavy, but you can see right there, we went from pretty dang de dehydrated. Oh, there's some newsprint to... Not bad, actually. Um, oh, I lost my bed here. There it is. All right, get a couple more hours of rest in. And we're going to want it to be a little bit daylight before we head out. The morning is just wickedly, wickedly cold. And I don't quite want it to be that cold. Let's get it to right around 10 hours of daylight left. That should be just fine. Uh, yeah, that'll work good. So, before we head on out... Let's go ahead and let's kind of like navigate our way around here without trying to use our uh, use our light source while I'm at it. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab I'll grab one of these just because it's looking terrible, and we'll probably eat this candy bar as well. Chocolate and nuts, guys. Soon. All right, buddy. We've got five kilograms of water, so you're not going to have to worry about getting something to drink anytime soon. There we go. Oh yeah. And we have that Mariner's pea coat as well. Actually, I want to take a look at that before I forget because I almost did. I'm not really sure what would be better, this winter coat or the Mariner's coat. Um, let's see. This is about halfway, and this is all the way repaired. I think this one is probably slightly better. I mean, how much how much cloth do we have left? Let's go take a look real fast. If we go over here to our materials, oh god, 19 cloth. Okay, I'm not worried about it. I guess let's go ahead and repair this just a little bit. Plus, that'll use up some of our time. Use up about an hour and 30 minutes. There we are. So now it's at 80%. Okay, let's see how it looks for 80%. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 
3.2. Wow, the Mariner's Peacoat might actually be slightly better. Let's repair it one more time. Yeah, let's see how it looks. It's a little bit lighter, too, than the other jacket, actually. All right, so that's at 100% now. Wow. Yeah, it gets us an extra degree. All right. Well, oh, not that. Just uh, wear it. There we go. Well, Winter Coat, you were good for like 20 seconds, but now you're going to get shredded. <laughs> because the Mariner's Peacoat is just that much better. All right, our boots are looking good. Work boots, we've got the best gloves on. All right, we're good. We're set to go. Let's see if I can find my way out of here. Just kind of bumble around a little bit until we uh, find the door. If I can save a little bit of no. All right, well, I tried. I don't want to mess around with this too much for you guys. There we are. I'm probably right next. Yep, I was going to say, I'm probably right next to the friggin' door. Whatever. What's the temperature like outside? What's the weather like outside? Uh, it's crappy. But, I guess that's how it goes. Alright. Head out this way. And, let me catch my bearings real quick. That should bring us back to the homestead, or the farmstead if I remember correctly. Yep, that is the direction of the farmstead. So we're going to want to head this way to try and find the mine. Let's go. And we got to keep an eye out. Actually, let's grab our flare gun here. Keep an eye out for that damn bear that seems to follow us no matter what we do. Now, I know that once we reach the edge of the map over there, we just have to find the place for the mine. And if there's one thing I kind of like about this game, it's like not using a map. You know what I mean? I don't know how to say it. It's almost like it provides just a little bit more of a challenge, and I don't mind it. Ooh, there's some old man's beard liching over there that I kind of want to grab. Actually, let's see if we can grab that. It is not warm outside at all. It is negative 9 degrees right now. This lichen, if you grab it, you can combine it with um, bandages to make yourself disinfectant bandages. If anyone knows anything about old man's beard liching, let me know if this is a if this is a real thing or not. I might want to grab a couple of sticks, too, while we walk. I don't hear anything right now, so I don't think that the bear is, like, right around the corner or anything. And still negative 9 degrees, 7 hours of daylight left. I'm not really liking that too much. I would have preferred it if it was maybe, like, I don't know, negative 3 or maybe, like, negative 4 degrees. Negative 9 is pretty damn bad. I hope I'm heading the right way, too. It is very easy to get lost in this game. Especially when you're dealing with just a lot of white. <laughs> the landscape can definitely look similar, like, as you traverse it. But that's kind of one of the things that I like most about this style of survival game. You can very easily lose your way. And becoming lost is a real thing, and that'll kill you. That'll kill you like anything else. Negative two degrees, I think because we are... Maybe getting some of the weird with the wind shear cut off here. Inside the mind, it it is very warm. So if we can make it to that point, we can easily bed down there as long as we need to to get moving on. Now the mine is on a hilltop as well. Well, not on a hilltop, I should say, but it's up above like ground level. So you kind of have to take a little bit of a uh, pathway in order to get there. Let's see what we've got over here. What is that? That sounds like a wolf attacking a bunny rabbit. When you hear the barking going wild like that, it's usually some wolf that's tracked onto some little prey animal. Uh, I don't see anything. I think I see some reishi mushrooms over here, though. If we can, as long as there's nothing around us that's trying to kill us right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab these. You can make these into a tea. And I'm trying to remember exactly what this heals, I think. I think it's stomach poisoning or food poisoning rather not 100% sure but I definitely want to grab them because you can't find these guys everywhere oh no no I hear it I hit no 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 oh no oh you you step back bear oh man come on come on come on our this pack is slowing us down oh there's a wolf behind the damn bear too Bear, 
You you need to you need to turn right away right now. You need to turn away, man. Oh, I think I see it. I think that that is the entrance. Oh, that bear is right behind us, though. Man, I hope that's the entrance anyway. It kind of looks like the entrance. Yeah, I know you're big and bad. And uh, to be fair, you are big and bad, like a lot bigger and badder than some random. I forget what this guy is. I think he's like a. Um, a oh God. Oh God. All right, that was way close for comfort. Oh man. We've got one round left. Come on, get there, get there, get there. Please let this be the entrance to the mine. This does not look like the entrance to a mine. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, no. All right, where are we? Let's take a look here. Uh, no. This is not what we need at all. All right, well, let me kind of get my way down here. See what's around the next bend. Winds are picking up. Oh, God. Let's see if I can make my way up past this little hillock. Nope, not at all. All right, we're going to have to go down this Try while I try and not break my legs. Because if we break a leg here, that is, like, more kinds of bad than you know. <laughs> Especially when we're being pursued by uh, Yogi over there. Uh, how about over here? Am I going to have any luck going this way, maybe? Come on, baby. Don't fail me now. Oh, God. Alright. That's not too bad. What are we at? Negative 7 degrees. Getting pretty damn cold and getting pretty damn hungry. Oh, the flare's sticking around. That's nice. Maybe that'll kind of keep him the hell away from us. Oh, no! Oh, no! No way! We just sprained our frickin' ankle! Um, alright guys. Let's move, 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 move. Oh, God. Oh, come on, man. Oh, hobble along, my good man. Find that mine entrance. Find oh, God. Find that mine entrance. No! Get off me! No, suck it, you bastard! Oh, no. Oh, this is so bad. I hate you so much, bear. God damn it. Well, hopefully we're not like epically tired again at least. All right, yeah, that was a that was an ass beating. All right, come on now. Let's get over here. First aid this real quick. Got to stop that blood loss. Uh we don't have enough pills or anything. Oh. And there's the mine. Really? Really, game? In the end, did any of it really matter? Yes, it mattered. Get into the damn cave. We're going to have some rest, and then we're going to call it an episode. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for now. You know what? We made it, right? We made it into the mine. We got the shit kicked out of us. Do we even have any rounds left for this thing? Yes, we still have rounds left. So if I have to get to the point where we have to fight our way out of something... We're going to make it happen. Hope you're enjoying the long dark so far. It is certainly harrowing. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.